just right here. And do I look at you or do I look at camera? All right, okay, cool. Got it. Jesus fucking Christ. Can we turn the light down a bit? Oh, fucking hell. What? Ah, oh, so it's like an interview. Mm, like what they do on Graham Norton. Wait. He isn't here, is he? Oh, oh that's so Graham. <laughs> No, you may not. My name's Bethany, not Beth. I'm not a whore. This better not take long. I've got online opera in 45 minutes. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Liam. I'm 20 years old and I study business management. I'm Katriana, 19, and I study biology. Sean, I spell it the normal way. I study, like, cooking, but with chemicals and stuff. Hello, I'm Bethany, 18, and I study astrophysics. But I also enjoy reading, I've been learning Latin, and on a Sunday, I play ch Fine, I suppose, yeah. I get a lot of work done. Online classes sort of drag on a bit, but once you get used to it, it's alright. I'm still passing, so that's positive. Right? <laughs> Classes. Okay, um, they're so easy. <laughs> you just join, say you're here on the register, and then simply roll over and go back to sleep. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Still haven't figured out how to mute my mic yet, though. <laughs> Lecturers kind of hate it. Yes, fine. I much prefer to be in lectures, though. However, sometimes the hands-up button on Teams stops working when you press it too often, so I have to listen to some idiot's absurd attempt of getting the correct answer. Yeah, one time I was playing my banjo with the camera off and my lecturer was just shouting at me to stop for like 20 minutes. <laughs> but I can hear him. Oh, it was so funny. I mean, is it ideal? Not really. But how else are we meant to do classes? You don't really have to have your camera on, so you don't have to do the work. It's fine. I got put into a breakout room and cried for 20 minutes. Yeah, they're all right, I suppose. There's one other guy called Sean and then two girls. I don't really have anything in common with them. Sean is a massive stoner, which isn't really my vibe, so. Have I ever smoked weed? No. I don't even really know what that is. My mum, uh, she once told me that she used to smoke weed all the time when she was pregnant with me, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> My granny, she uh, she used to put something called barley in her tomato soup, if that's the same thing. Yes, Katrina, she is a complete nightmare. She lives right next door and she has a complete disregard to the government stay-at-home orders. She has people around most weekend. Back home, we call someone like that the Tavern Bicycle. Oh my god. Do not get me started on Bethany. She's maybe the worst human on the planet. I'm not joking. One time, she caught me using her sieve to drain my pasta. And no word of a lie, she tried to file a lawsuit against me. I have to let our sense over here. Hold on. She's crazy. A bit weird, 
I suppose. Uptight is probably the word. I once saw her shouting at a Tesco delivery driver because he didn't know whether her box of cornflakes had been sanitised or not. Yes, here it is. Dear Miss Catherine of Francis, this is a letter of notice that Miss Bethany McKelvin Delilah intends to enforce legal action against you for your- Catriona is cool. She gave me something once. It was like, like the size at a party. It looked like a bean, but it was blue. Hmm. I don't remember too much after that. I just remember being really sweaty. Liam's an adequate housemate. He keeps my noise to a minimum and he's rarely done anything to irk me. He's the least moronic person in this flat. Sean should be arrested. I can't prove it, but I am 99% sure that he showers with his socks on. Keeps your feet warm when you get out. Wait. You guys don't. Every so often. Maybe once a week. There's always a party in this building somewhere. It's not really hard to find them. Catriona is probably the person you might be asking. Genuinely don't think I've ever had a conversation with her when she isn't either steaming or hungover. It's impressive at this point. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> Yeah, um, he's not wrong. Did he tell you about the night we partied together? Partied together? Is that what she's calling it? One night I kind of overdid it with the drink. And her and her friends covered me with soil from the plant pots in the corridor and took photos of me with flowers on my head. With the flower boy for months. Sometimes. I get kind of stupid when I drink though. I will have a glass of red wine two nights a week to de-stress. Sometimes the others in the flat have parties, but I recently purchased a megaphone off Amazon Prime, which will nip that in the bud soon. At first I didn't really get it. Like wearing masks and socially distancing and stuff. But once I bought a meter stick, it made it much easier to understand how far away I had to be. It's a bit annoying having to carry it around everywhere though. Yeah, a bit weird I suppose. I live in a wee place called Campbelltown, down like the west coast of Scotland. And drinking and seeing your pals is pretty much all you can do there. So, the summer was a bit rough. But coming here, meeting Sean, Catriona and Bethany really has made everything better. The house has been class, literally. Not stop parties and everyone just gets with everyone because the parties are all in the house. It's unreal. My boyfriend doesn't like it too much though. I can categorically say that this has been the worst year of my whole life. If I'm not locking eyes in my lectures at least three times a week, how will I ever build a personal and professional rapport with these people? It's been a nightmare. I kissed Sean one time. I know this has nothing to do with your question, but I just really need to get that off my chest. Next year will be class. Next year will probably be better. Vaccine and that, you know. Next year literally couldn't get any worse. Next year will be better. It has to be. <laughs>